Hi, I'm Robert Malby with Malby's Minute on the Market from our West Coast office in Southern Cal, Santa Monica, right before the sun goes down. So I'm going to read fast here. Uh, we're calling this update in August, uh, rather September, uh, July 24th, the Fed's bear. Monetary factors are waiting on the bulls. Our MMI is slightly negative at 46 on a scale of 100. Here are the indicators. Market sentiment, negative. The VIX is uh, at a 13, which is a pre-COVID uh, reading of complacency. And the bull to bear uh, ratio of 1.5 to 1 to the bulls is a little too bullish for our liking. Um, the technicals are positive. Every single market index is above its 200-day moving average and uh, you know showing over 72 uh, percent of uh, equity stocks above uh, the 20-day a little bit overbought and a solid 59 percent above the 200-day i think showing good breath for the longer run uh, liquidity uh, is a trickle but it's a positive trickle and a change in directionality which is very positive Issuance is low, and net-net flows into uh, mutual funds, hedge funds, and ETFs. Positive, $12 billion after all said and done. Looking at valuations, we have a bifurcation. We have the Magnificent Seven at 38 times. Pretty fairly valued, even with their stellar growth. Uh, the market, the S&P itself, at 20 times, which by our model shows a 20% overvaluation based on current rates and earnings, moment, earnings rather, trailing earnings. Um, and then you have the not so hot, 493 at 15 times with a positive earnings yield of 180 basis points. And that is constructive. Um, earnings momentum is positive and leading this bull market. Uh, the beat ratio in the first quarter was 80 percent and that is continuing in q2 at 80 percent so far it is early the uh, revisions are uh, above 64 percent and that's a great trend above the five and ten year averages and uh, the beat ratio at 8.8 percent average beat above the 10 year average and an acceleration from last quarter which was 6.4 so some positive earnings momentum is good uh, at this juncture. Uh, impressively, estimates for 2024 are for 12% growth in earnings on the S&P 500, and margins are holding up, uh, even now after all the uh, interest rate hikes and inflation, uh, holding up nicely. Does someone say Goldilocks? <laughs> okay, well, now for the big bad wolf, the Fed. Hawkish, um, very tight. Uh, M2 growth is negative, and quantitative tightening is tight. Combined, not a great concoction. Uh, a hike coming in two days, no doubt, at 25 more basis points. But, uh, you know, with over $5 trillion in money markets and uh, the aforementioned uh, fundamentals holding up, uh, really, really looks like uh, we're at the end of the, the uh, Fed uh, hawkishness, although they'll probably talk it up a little bit too, to boot. So we really have uh, two markets right now. We have the Magnificent Seven uh, at 38 times, probably going to take a break and hand the baton over to the not-so-hot 493 to take leadership. That's what we believe is going to occur here, and we're looking for a nice summer surf's up. Come to our website. Get, uh, take advantage of our trial subscription. Get in front of a good flow of uh, new ideas in the small cap arena, which are attractively priced. Roughly 40, 45% discount uh, to the, uh, the S&P 500. Very good entry points. We're going to have some, I think, strong ideas for you to add some alpha. Come take advantage of that uh, trial subscription while wow, the price is right. Robert Maltby, Maltby's Minute on the Market from our West Coast location. Have a great day.